Welcome to another video. Walk on the wild side and I'm here in Blackpool just up from Gin Square here on the promenade and in this video I'm going to be taking it all the way into town along Dixon Road. Could be quite interesting. It's getting dark. And there goes the tram there. Look at that twilight sky here. Yeah, we've got a lovely twilight. It's the solstice today. The longest day in Blackpool. This is the Savoy Hotel here. Yeah, there you go. And I'm going to be making my way over this way towards there. That road over there, Dixon Road. I'm going to be heading all the way down there to the town centre. Okay, so I'm just making my way across this car park now towards Warbreck Hill Road. This is Warbreck Road here, and we've got the Gin Pub over here. And we're going to be taking a walk all the way along Dixon Road into the town centre. Could be quite interesting. I've mentioned Dixon Road a few times on my videos. It's a road of contrast as well. This part down here is where most of the shops are. There's a lot of shops down this end of Dixon Road. I'll just quickly show you the roundabout here at Gin Square. This is the roundabout. Look at that sky, isn't it? Amazing. Like I say, it's the uh, solstice today. The longest day, yeah. Anyway, we're going to be heading up. Dixon Road now. That twilight is going to be with us all night. Yeah, so like I said, this part of Dixon Road is where most of the shops and the takeaways are. And it's uh, quite popular around here, but there is a part of Dixon Road that's a little bit dodgy. And that's the middle section. And as we get onto the far section, as we get nearer to town, we then get into the gay village, which is quite interesting. Very lively. We'll see what that's like when we get there, shall we? It's a bit lively around here now, actually. Some scousers having a bit of banter there. Sounds a bit like a domestic. We're making my way up Dixon Road, up the hill. There's a shop over there called Choice Meats Catering. Big butchers. Looks really good. I think they supply the hotels then. Choice Meats Catering, yeah. It's around about half past ten at night. It's a Tuesday. Chinese, here look. Hong Kong. Chinese takeaway. Bit of work going on up here, look. Someone's got to skip. Blocking the pavement, look at this. It's a bit naughty, isn't it? So I'm making my way up Dixon Road. And the next road that comes across up here is called Warley Road. Just over there is a takeaway called Papa's. Papa's Chicken. We've also got another one here. Cooks and Pizza. Oh, sorry, Dixon Pizza, that's called there. Dixon Pizza, yeah. So, you might just be able to see the tower in the distance. Look at that there. The tower nicely lit up. We're at Warley Road now. This is Warley Road that crosses here. And the interesting thing about here is that this is where the Derby Bath used to be, just down there. Can you see? behind this co-op which is closed I wasn't expecting this co-op to be closed now I wonder if it's shut up early and you normally get pe homeless people sitting outside there as well when it's open anyway there you go we're just going past a chippy this one's called the Derby Supper Bar look at this it's all shut up oh wow must be doing some work, wasn't it? Look at that. The Derby Supper Bar. One of his changed hands. Tattoo parlour. Mystery Inc. Yeah. 
so we're just going past look at that view over there doesn't that look amazing like i said that was where the derby bass was down there yeah amazing view tonight lovely sky New Treasure City Chinese restaurant closed. Quite a few flats as well around here, you know, on the above the shops, there's flats above the shops. Looks a bit shut up around here, doesn't it? But this is not the worst part of Dixon Road. We're gonna to get to that very soon. It's a little bit dodgy. That's the back of the Grand Hotel. It was the Pembroke when it was first built, and then it became the Hilton, the Stackis, and it's now the Grand, owned by the Britannia Group. Car sales on the corner called Dixon Road Car Sales. This road here is called Car Shan Shelton Road. Car Shelton Road, sorry. Interesting building here, looks a bit like a church or something. St. Paul's Medical Centre. Yeah. But we are approaching the dodgy area of Dixon Road. That road over there is called Derby Road, by the way. Leads you down to the promenade. Can't get enough of that sky, doesn't it look amazing? And what a view over the Irish Sea as well tonight. Amazing view tonight. So on we go. What looks like a few guest houses and hotels here in this section here. Yeah. In fact, there's a property just over the road there that I've only just noticed. It looks like a, a couple of houses, doesn't it, there? Like a couple of semi-detached houses there. Yeah, and just next to that, on the other block, is the Wilton International Hotel. Look at that there. There you go. And next to that is another place called the Brooklyn. Is that a hotel? On this side, we've got Quick Fit. I did mention as well that you get a lot of these tyre places. You know, the exhaust tyres and exhaust places in rough areas. And this is the roughest part of Dixon Road. We're just about to go down the back of the Imperial Hotel. And you might have seen my video where I talked about the murder of Alan Rosser, which happened just up here at a garage on Back East Street, yeah. That happened back in 1999 and it was never solved, yeah. A murder. There's lots of little streets with terraced houses as well. This one's called Imperial Street. Yeah, hanging off here. I'm going to show you up the road where the guy got murdered. It's just up here on the left hand side. I'm not walking up there. <laughs> I've already been up there for the video. You'll have to check out the video, but this is it now. It's called Back East Street. Here we are. Look at this. Oof. Somebody got murdered in a yard up there. Yeah. 1999, Alan Rosser murdered at a garage in a yard just at the back there, yeah. Wow, and look where we are. We're right around the back of the Imperial Hotel. How about that there? Uh, imagine that, something like that happening right here. So there you go, there's the Imperial Hotel with that amazing view over the sea. And just over there, down that sort of back alley almost, isn't it? Is where that guy got murdered. 
Yeah. Anyway, we'll carry on. Catharos Photography Studio. Doesn't look like that place has been in use for a while, does it? Yeah. This is the area of Dixon Road, which is very kind of rough looking, bit run down. Look at that GK Laundrette. How long has it since that been open? <laughs> few alleyways round here that look interesting. Might have to take a walk down some of these alleyways. Yeah, but I'm making my way along the dodgy part of Dixon Road here. It's also this area where the policeman, Jerry Richardson, was shot round here. That happened a lot earlier. So like 1969 or 1970. The policeman, Jerry Richardson, the highest ranking policeman in the UK to be killed in service, was shot by a robber somewhere around here. The robber had robbed a jeweller's in town on the Strand and somewhere up here they, they caught up with him and the robber, I think it was called Fat Harry Sewell, was it? I'm not sure of his name, killed the uh, policeman there, yeah. Anyway, just going past another place now, National Tyres. Another tyre place in this section of Dixon Road, the dodgy section as I call it. But we're coming up now to Pleasant Street and this now is like the border with the gay village in Blackpool as we get closer to town. Look at that view of the tower. Doesn't it look amazing? Yeah, so this section here is Pleasant Street. We're just round the back now of the Claremont. That's the Claremont Hotel over there. Oh, I've just got to show you that view over there. Just look at this. I can't help showing this. Kicking off over there. These two here. Another domestic. That's the best western there hotel, but we're going to carry on. We're going to now head towards the town centre. Like I said, this section here is probably the most lively section of Dixon Road because it's the gay village. And uh, yeah, it can be very interesting along this section of Dixon Road. Again, we've got quite a few properties here that will be flats. Not sure if I'd want that part outside my house. A cherry picker. Yeah. Parking's not the best either. Look at that parking there. It's about two feet away from the kerb. But anyway, we carry on towards Blackbill Town Centre along Dixon Road. Seems very quiet tonight, yeah. The buildings are getting a bit bigger now and we're getting a bit of colour now. Look at this here. Belvedere, is it? Yeah, Belvedere. Look at that there. Bit of neon going on now. A lot of the hotels along this area will be owned by the gay community. There's one just over the road. It's called Lulu's. Let's check it out. Yeah, you see that hotel there? That's called Lulu's. But I remember, we're going back about 10 or 12 years, the owner of that hotel wanted to call it, he wanted to rename it the Hotel Diagra. And he wasn't allowed to by the council. I think that they were a bit hard on him. Hard on him. What do you think? Just coming up to Cocker Street. Cocker Street now. Church on the corner. 
Yeah, and interesting about Cocker Street as well, there used to be baths down this way, you know, towards the square and the promenade. There used to be baths down there, Cocker Street baths, if anybody remembers it, down that way. Yeah, we're just going past this church now. Uh, can't see the name of the church, I'm afraid, but it's a pretty big church. Look at this. And just opposite the church is Peekaboo's. Now Peekaboo's is a popular cabaret bar. You get the drag acts on singing. Yeah, look at that, Peekaboo's. Looks like they've got some good entertainment in there. And I think it's also a hotel as well. Yeah. So there you go. Getting closer to the town centre now along Dixon Road. I've survived so far. We've got Mark Kelly's at the very end. There's always interesting things happening outside Mark Kelly's. That's a Duke of York over there. That's not a gay pub, it's a Thwaites pub, but... There you go. Got quite a few convenience stores as well. News and booze. Oh, we've got another church. Another church here. Let's have a look, shall we? Lots of churches around. Again, I can't see the name of this one. But we've got a signpost here. We're heading towards Blackpool North Station as well. It's just up here on the left. But I'll just show you over the road. We're now getting towards where the the hotels are a bit more concentrated. Yeah, there's a bit of work going on at those flats there, look. Yeah. Got some hotels here, which I believe are probably owned by the gay community. They just have that look about them. Yeah, they do look very nice. Got nice gardens, well-presented hotels here on Dixon Road. Two parlour there on the left. Cuban bar there. Can you see this here? Look, that says Cockin Hotel. Look at that there. The Cockin Hotel. The Cockin Hotel. And that's right next to Man Bar. I don't know the opening times of these, but that's not open at the moment, but, yeah. <coughs> yeah, I see this place and it's very, very popular during the day. It's not open at the moment, but there you go. We are in the week, aren't we? It's a Tuesday. Happens to be the solstice. Just going past Funny Girls and Funny Girls is closed as well. Now, I just want to show you over the road. Money traders on the right there on the corner. We've got a shop called Kebab Hub. Now there is a shop next door to that on the left. You see the one with the red taxis? That's called Mario's. Now that takeaway there used to be called Funny Boys. And that was the takeaway that was connected with the murder of Charlene Downs. We're looking right at it now. It's now called Mario's. But that was connected with the murder of Charlene Downs. How about that eh? There you go. Yep, just going past a couple of takeaways here which are closed up. These have been closed up for ages actually, yeah. It's a bit rough here, doesn't it? Anyway, we're now just coming up on the tram station and this meets up with North Station, of course, the train station. This is what they knocked the Wilco store down for here. Yep, the hotel and the tram station there. A little look at that for you there can't see much because it's behind that uh, fence but we're looking towards a couple more gay clubs here we've got chaos and we've also got the flamingo and the flying handbag just up there yeah but we're now almost at the end now and we've got mark alice over here on the corner we've made it to the other side of dixon road we're now in blackpool town center and we're looking towards Mark Kelly's. Yeah, I survived the walk down Dixon Road. 
Oh, I can hear loud music, but I don't see too many people. It seems really quiet tonight. But then again, it is a Tuesday. So there you go. We made it to Blackpool Town Centre on this walk down Dixon Road. So there you go, that was a walk down Dixon Road all the way from Ginn Square to here in the town centre. And Mark Ellis, I survived the walk down Dixon Road. It's a little bit dodgy in places as well, isn't it? I'll have to come down again, maybe at the weekend when there's a bit more going on. Anyway, I hope you like this video. If you do, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos. And I will see you again on the next one.